first and right away to the latest on the Boston bombings. We are all going to hear from someone we have been waiting to meet, the Boston man who went out of his home to look at his boat and ended up ending a massive manhunt for a terror suspect. And how he did it is even more extraordinary than we knew. We turn to news anchor Ed Harding of our Boston affiliate WCVB with the exclusive interview tonight. I know people say there was blood on the boat, and he saw blood and went in. Not, not true. Not true. Dave Henneberry is the only one who knows the whole story, how the second suspect was discovered, but he says it's not the story we've all heard. He never saw any blood on the outside of his boat. It was a more subtle clue that something was wrong. Henneberry went out for air when Boston police said it was safe, and he noticed that the shrink wrap on his beloved boat was strangely out of place. So he went to the garage and grabbed a step ladder. I got, I think, three steps up the ladder, and I was, I rolled it up, and I can see through now the shrink wrap. I didn't expect to see anything. And I look in the boat over here on the, on the floor, and I see blood. And a lot of blood. Had a lo good amount of blood. Yeah. Then my eyes went to the other side of the engine box. The engine box is in the middle mm -hmm. of the There was a body. And at that moment, what did you do? What were you thinking at that moment? Oh my God. He couldn't see suspect number two's face, and he was glad he couldn't see his face. Well, I know I took three steps up the ladder. I don't remember stepping down off the ladder. He rushed into his home, called 911. Police swarmed the neighborhood. David and his wife were taken away. People are calling you a national hero. The people I killed can get some from me. They, you know, in many ways, they do. Then I'm at peace with it, you know. An accidental hero with the thanks of a city. In Watertown, Massachusetts, I'm Ed Harding for ABC News. And we thank Ed and Dave. And we want you to know that across the country tonight, Americans have said they want to contribute money to help Dave replace his beloved boat as a sign of gratitude. But he's asked us to tell you that he's so appreciative, but he'd like everybody instead to donate to the One Fund Boston to help the victims who were injured, he says, not a guy who lost a boat.